Woo! Voice Deep commentary. Into that darkness peering. Long oh. I stood there. <laughs> wondering. I fearing. Doubting. It's a great way to intro this game. <laughs> the two things that I've loved since I was like 12 and I'll never stop loving them is the Reapin and anything about the Call of Duty. Nah. And it's Oh, okay. Yeah. Just, you know, want to make sure that the speakers catch us into. <laughs> anyway, well, yes. All I had was of... like Monkey Ball 3 or whatever. And yeah. <laughs> Rayman gave you. Fear Not Rayman. Um, other Nintendo game. I really was missing out with this. Right. I had no idea this existed. Yeah. This is a good one. This is this is one of the early. Um. I mean, it 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 did some things that a lot of horror games since then have sort of jumped on the bandwagon with, as far as messing with the player. Uh -huh. Um. So yes, I'm just letting the here. I'm just letting all of the the introductory um explain it for well it's not even explained this is just what plays if you don't like press the start button like oh, right okay. before you you know um before you get to the title screen so this is mostly just very impressionistic and will not explain much but what is the premise of the game? um yeah oh, zombies um so it's it's basically I mean, as you'll see, this the it has a a structure that it's uh, a chapters in a book. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a hub world, which that's the first part of the story that, that you'll see, um, and then each um, each level is a, is a, is you know set in a different time and place, all relating to you know, and they're all chapters in the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Okay. Um, No, there is, okay. um... They just had decided to coolly name it Sanity is Reculate. Yeah, they just decided to do it, so that's the, the introductory scene, and... It's so creepy. Yeah. Flesh. Bone. Bound together with the oddest magical incantation. This wretched book is where it all began so long ago. Before time before humanity. I am Dr. Edward Roivas. I am a clinical psychologist. I am also dead. This is not my story, nor even the story of the Roivas family. It is the story of humanity. Like it or not, believe it or not, as you will. Your perceptions will not change reality, but simply color it. Humanity has been on the edge of extinction for two millennia, ignorant of so much and dependent on so few. The Guardians grow restless, their time once again near. Whether by fate or misfortune, my family has crossed their path, and they didn't take kindly to it. Their attention turns to my granddaughter, for she is the last of my line, and the last hope for humanity. She looks like Buffy. Yeah. Can I pretend she's yeah. Buffy? <laughs> yes, go ahead. <laughs> I'm serious, that's all I see right now. Gameplay! Bam! No explanations, no, just, just zombies. <laughs> just bam, zombies, and you gotta shoot them with a shotgun. And eventually... And you don't need headshots, which is interesting. No, not these. These are the weakest zombies. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Out of ammo! Out of ammo! Oh, no!
Hello? Miss Alexandra Roivas? Um, yeah, who's this? This is Inspector Legrasse of the Rhode Island Police. I'm sorry to disturb you, but there's been an accident with your grandfather. I'll be on the next flight out. Ah, Miss Roivas, I'm pleased to meet you. I trust you had a pleasant trip? Um, yes, I suppose so, considering. Yes, my condolences. This is most unpleasant. It's a shame we couldn't meet under brighter circumstances. Yes, it is. Can we get this over with, please? Of course. Uh, this way. But I must warn you, it's not a pleasant sight. I'm afraid there's not much to see. Miss Roivas, is that your grandfather, Edward? Yes, it's him. He's wearing our family ring. I don't understand. Why are you showing me this? Can't you check dental records or something? What is wrong with you? I'm... I'm sorry. It's my job, lady. You're the only living relative, and no, we can't check dental records. There's no head. Now, none of this makes sense. There's no sign of intrusion, and there was certainly a lot of force used here. I have never seen anything like this in my 20 years on the force. We have no evidence except for the body, and what's left doesn't say much. Ugh, we don't have a single clue. Well, you better find out who did this. I'm not leaving Rhode Island until you do. There must be some clue in this old mansion revealing what happened. I want answers. So do I. I wish I had some. Yep, and he never shows up again for some stranger. Oh no, not not Lance Henriksen. What was I thinking? The other guy from Terminator, Earl Bowen. Oh, okay. That's... I got confused. Anyway... So now we are we are in control again. Okay, excellent. Yes. So got a big dark scary mansion to explore. Of course. Um This is there's only yeah, there's there's plenty of stuff to examine, but only, you know, certain things are leading to a certain uh, direction. Right, okay. Oh, key. Yes. Take the key. Get our first item. And it's the same creepy time from the same creepy dream. Mm. Her dream was 3.33, right? The clock, then. Um... You know, I've never looked at it. I should, I should I know, do that. It only reminds me because there's that dumb movie, The Fourth Kind. Oh, yeah. Like all the alien owl... They were... Aliens were owls. Right. Uh, <laughs> owls are weird, man. But The owls are not what they <laughs> seem. <laughs> but all the abductions happened at 3.33, so that number is kind of stuck in my brain. It stands out. Mm -hmm. Expect to see alien owls. So we can go up here, but the door is locked. We go into the inventory, we do actually have the second floor key. So she automatically had that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you have that before, just, yeah, just automatically. Um, I like the one guy that's blinking at us. Hello. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, hello there. Is that, Welcome. Are those, like, like, what are they? Are they teeth with eyes? I don't... Are they yeah, weird I'm not sure. things? It's, I, not sure. It's very, very eldritch. <laughs> very strange and mysterious. Like oh, it. but the second floor key is broken. That's okay. We will fix it later. But yes, and if you noticed, the, the title card for this uh, uh, specified that this mansion is in Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. Because of course it is. It's got to be New England. It's got to be Love, Lovecraft country. 
Oh, yeah, this is a weird thing. Yeah, this family tree. Yeah, if one looks closely, the family secrets are revealed. Not actually. This ma this family tree never... Reveal a secret? Yeah, it's never relevant to, like, one of the puzzles that you have to solve. <laughs> is there, like, Very a puzzle weird. that can, like... Do you have to solve all the puzzles, or are there puzzles that can be, like, missed? Um... Well, there's two, th like, all of the things that there are, there are to be solved in the mansion. The mansion's like the hub world, right. and then, like, each chapter takes you somewhere else. Um, but the, um, the mansion doesn't have anything that's, it has some flavor text, but it doesn't have any optional puzzles. Right. The game has two, like, kind of side quest things. Like, things that you could miss just going about the game regularly, but they unlock hidden stuff. There's two things. Um, so that, that'll, um, which those, those won't pay off until much later on. <laughs> anyway, hey, it's the, hey, it's the, it's the clock. How can a clock be patriarchal? I, I, I don't know. I mean, I know it's a grandfather clock, but I never got that sense from clocks before. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm just not sure. <laughs> so you set it to 333? Yeah. Okay. And then it reveals secret passageway. Because, of course, there's a secret passageway. Not creepy at all. Nope. <sighs> is the book glowing, or yeah. is there something light? No, no, the it's... The book glows. I, items okay. that you can, that you can pick up. Gl oh, like so it's not glow. specific to the book? That would have been great. It was a flesh yeah, book that glowed. That would, but no, it's just a, it's a normal book made out of flesh and bone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, you're Big right of the mill. for the fancy one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, creepy secret study. Um, but yeah, anything that you can pick up will glow like that okay. to let you know that you can pick okay. it up so that you don't spend a million years trying to examine everything. Of course, there's also a, a button prompt for you know, pick up or examine the thing. I had no knowledge of what was to come, nor did I care. How the knowledge changed me, it will also change you. As you read this, you will come to learn fear as I have. You too will come to understand, or you will perish. To think that once I could not see beyond the veil of our reality, to see those who dwell behind. My life now has purpose, for I have learned the frailty of flesh and bone. I was once a fool. Where is Quies Candamest? Where is Conservandai? Facusatis aquae sumat, et animus eorum confirma. Pupna huis, dia sit modo prima multarum, si ingeptum conficiamus. Quam primum, Centurio Augustus. Wolo res I would like to compliment you once more on your battle tactics. Our enemies did not have a chance. Do you believe that it really exists, Centurion? I do not doubt our Emperor's beliefs, or his orders. But if we are to retrieve the artifact, then we must be strong and patient.
And now, now, now we are in the temple. Now we're in control. So now we're pious. Okay. Yes, now we are controlling pious. We are pious. <laughs> yes, we are. Um, so yes, in a strange, mysterious temple. Um, so like, as as we are. Okay, it's not Alex being transferred to these people. She's reading about them, and these are the yeah. stories that she's reading. It's I the thing that it seems to be. It's a little unclear, but it seems to be that like she's absorbing knowledge straight from the book. Mm-hmm. Like it's not just reading. It's like. But this is what she's absorbing. She's yes. not being sent. Into no, that she is not controlling the the things this person. I does. like these zombies, but they remind me of the Redead from Zelda. Yeah. It gave me such nightmares when I was little. Oof. Oh, yeah, same. I'm... I, like, I... I had... Whoop! There's three of them! Shut them up. You can't run out of sword. No, you can't. All, all characters have uh, a melee weapon that you can't run out of. Yeah, this isn't really, like, a, a Resident Evil-style game where, like, there's limited resources. Okay. I mean, there is limited ammunition, but, like, it's not... You will not be weaponless. It, yeah, like, it's not that style of, of game. Okay. Like, it's a it's much... more puzzly. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like there's some there's some combat stuff, there's some puzzle stuff, but there's not the resource management stuff that there is in... In like Resident Evil or Dino Crisis, or you know. yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Which is nice because while that's like terrifying, I'm so bad at monitoring resources. <laughs> it's my downfall. Um, that uh, I like when. Yeah. Dude, what was the box? Uh, it's just a little granite block, and it's uh, oh. that one had a red little sigil on it, and this one has a green one. Okay. Yeah, red, green, and blue. You'll see everything in this game is color coded. Yeah, is color coded red, green, and blue. Um, <laughs> no. Although that would be fun if they like. I don't know if they. I don't know how they could possibly like make oh, a thing okay. out of so it. But... If you behead the zombie, it doesn't die. No, you can... These are really interesting zombies. I would like to know more about that. Yeah, you can target... The game will explain it in, in, in shortly, but um, you can target um, the head or the arms or the torso. Right. Or e- each arm individually and the torso. What kills them? Um, enough attacking. Separate. Like, these zombies are really weak, so honestly, like, you hit them, like, three times, you're good. Okay. Um, but yeah, if you cut off their head, they cannot see you. They will just stand there and swipe blindly. Um, oh, can't go that way. <laughs> yeah. And if you cut off their arms, they can't swipe at all. And then they can just sort of, like, I bite your glare. Brain, you <laughs> they can just glare at you menacingly. <laughs> Just, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I, I wish, I wish there were an Easter egg of like, where like zombies could like kick you or something. <laughs> like just, ugh. just defiant, petulant, <laughs> <laughs> or just headbutt you, and it does next to no damage. Oh, that's another thing. Technically, even if you don't have a melee weapon, you can punch zombies. Okay. But it does. So little damage right. that it's not it's not worth considering. But it considering. gives you the street cred of saying you punched a zombie. That's a good point. Now I kind of wish that I had I had uh, punched a, a zombie to death at some point during the selfie. Just, <laughs> just you could walk around telling people, yeah, I punched a zombie. MBD. Damn, MBD. I did that. <laughs> um, yes. Okay. So there are. This is the. Um, the description. The shadow. Oh, yeah, each of... Oh, and here's the... There's flavor text for the... Oh, yeah. Did you drop a thing? We're good. Okay. Um, yeah, there's flavor text for all of the weapons and stuff, which is neat. Um, but yeah, so we have four of the, the four granite blocks in red, green, blue, and purple, which is the odd man out. But yeah, pay attention to the usage. I mean, it's not terribly complex, but like... So does the blue go with the blue? Or yep. Do you... Okay. In this puzzle, it does. 
and other, other puzzles. puzzles, it'll be matching because the red, green, and blue um, represent three uh, uh, eldritch abominations okay. um, that form a uh, rock, rock, paper, scissors configuration. They're like strong and weak against each other. Okay. Yeah. The easy way to remember it is is that it's the same as Pokemon. It, it really is. This game is just Pokemon. Blue is it, just dumb. And, well. Oh. Well, I'm always water type in Pokemon because you win everything. Yeah, I guess the water types are pretty consistently good. But I mean, so like, is... blue is good against red, red is good against green, okay. green is good against blue, okay. and purple is the is the nuke option. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, nuke. Um, <laughs> Um, oh. Which you'll see. Oh, okay, that's a statue. I'm yes. Nervous. I thought he was gonna have to fight his double. <laughs> no, but but this statue is. I mean, this is when the game tells you about targeting different body parts. But you know, the statue is relevant, and you shall see how. Uh, well, not this video. Next video. As long as it doesn't mean what I blink. I'm no. Okay. <laughs> no. Can you practice okay. on him? Of course. Yeah. That's the thing. That's so it's just like head. Oh. And hey, he looks like us. I wonder if that's relevant. You are dismembering um. yourself, Pius. Symbolism. You must destroy yourself to complete the puzzle to get through the treachery. I don't know. Oh, and it was gonna sound so much better in my head. Just when that first came out. <laughs> I got away from me. Yeah. Um. Oh, and, and note the the yellow thing. Um. There was originally supposed to be a fifth ancient in this game. Um, that thing? Oh, that Yeah, well, both. The, okay. the yellow glowing just generally. There are a couple things. Like, for instance, the slight tinge of yellow on bodies after you finish them off. Mm -hmm. um, so the, there was supposed to be a yellow, uh, a, 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 an ancient that was aligned with the color yellow Ooh, as well, a fifth this one. This button do? <laughs> and, okay, and, and so it's not in the final game, but there's still like traces of like the yellow aura as there, as right. there are for like the, the other four colors. Um, so it's supposed to be there's a God, decision rings. time, oh. and now this is, this is the, the Pokemon decision. Squirtle! Pick Squirtle. Sadly, not do you this pick time. Charmander? No. You pick Bulbasaur? I do. Which, fittingly enough, in this case, it's it works. Yeah. Okay. So I'll explain. So, um, I'll explain why. But yes, and in fact, in reality, I also picked Bulbasaur. I will have you know, when I was a kid. I know there's a glitch. You have to pick Bulbasaur so that you can play the entire game in like 20 minutes. I just oh. Saw recently. Oh, I didn't. You can this about that on thing. red or blue in 20 minutes. Okay. But there's like, they're using glitches and you have to get Bulbasaur. Alright, so those two, uh, the claw, the dome, nope. I'm gonna go with this weird thing. Effigy resembling a warped angel. I'm okay with this. I'm all tired of this time. have passed since then, and I have learned much. I was once as naive as a child, but now my mind is sharp. With the power of Zalatath, I can now read the thoughts of others and make them raving mad with a mere suggestion. Face me, and you shall surely perish. <laughs>